have you heard the legend? The legend of the Darkstalkers? Well, if you haven't, you will. And I'm here to tell you that it's true. All of it. I first read about them on the front page of one of those infantile tabloid magazines. You know, the ones you see on the rack in the checkout line at the grocery store. Not too long after that, the story was promoted to regular newspaper and evening news status. No one really knew what the hell they were. Oh, there were all kinds of speculations, out of control mob of kids maybe, escaped lunatics, homeless people who've band together to terrorize the rest of society. No one really knew. I'm exhausted. And darkness is beginning to creep around every corner. Aside from knowing what town I'm in, I really don't have a further clue as to where I am. I've been boarded up in this dilapidated, run-down shack for what seems like all night. But according to my watch, it's only been about three hours. It's now 11.23. I've been trying to call out on my cell phone, but I can't get service. It's been like this the whole time. I know they must have seen me come here. These terrifying beings. These extremely short, disfigured creatures with the most hideous looking faces. I've never had much trouble describing something, but they almost look very old. Now, these satanic looking, gnome like things seem to have taken this place over. This situation began for me, as I've said, a little over three hours ago. You see, I'm on a business trip. Or at least I was on a business trip and realized I was running behind schedule, so I took a look at a map and decided to take somewhat of a shortcut and turn through this small town. Even with a map, I seemed to be losing my way, so I stopped into a little country store to ask for directions. When I went inside and looked around, I noticed that it was a 50s style malt shop, complete with a black and white checkerboard floor and a soda bar. I also took quick notice that it was dead inside, completely abandoned. Not even the ice cream machine was running. And I saw that in a corner, a payphone's receiver dangled on its stainless steel cord, swaying to and fro. I spent some time, a half an hour to be almost exact, and I snooped around a little more. The longer I stayed, the creepier the ambience became. I was in the back of the store when I was startled by a rather violent noise coming from outside in front of the store. I heard the sound of shattering glass, twisting metal, and the loud whooshing sound of air as if being released from a tire. A tire! It was my car! I ran to the front of the store and looked out the window to see these unimaginably vicious looking creatures destroying my car. I watched in horror as they ripped it apart, piece by piece, as if the whole thing were made of cardboard. A few of them were on the inside of it, ripping up upholstery and seat stuffing. A noise must have escaped my lips because two or three of them suddenly looked at me through the window glass. Instantly, they began to run toward my direction. I backed up and stumbled over a few chairs, but then I ran toward the back of the store as they crashed through the plate glass. When I reached the back door, I said a quick prayer and threw all of my weight into it as I didn't want to stop to turn the knob. Luckily, I blasted through with the shock of a cruise missile as these things gained on me. The sound that they made as they pursued me was blood curdling. As I ran through the woods to get away from them, I managed to put a bit of distance between them and myself, but I could still hear the crackling of twigs and leaves as their feet fell. Those sounds were mingled with their shrill screams. I ran. I ran until I found this place. This empty old cabin looking hulk in the woods. This of itself is also creepy. Reminds me of one of those desolate cabins in a camp killer movie. I'm now sitting here in this musty old place thanking Christ that it's dark. Hopefully they can't locate prey based on sense of smell, but otherwise they won't or shouldn't be able to find me. I'm so tired that I can barely keep my eyes open. I'm looking out of this broken old window staring at the moss that swings in the wind. I can see it being lit by the light of the full moon, but I know that I can't fall asleep because the second I do, I'll wake up to those things attacking me. So I'll just sit quietly and wait for the morning to come. Wait. I can hear them. They're crowding me outside of the shack. They're on the roof. I can see one standing at the window with the most horrifying grin on its face. They've found me. <laughs> <laughs>